is a self-driving minibus and as you can see there are no driver only a staff member on board for security reasons in Wuxi, passengers can now book a minibus on a mobile app to order a ride-hailing shuttle service or simply hop on a bus at the station for a fixed route trip more than 100,000 passengers are currently served annually in the city but the question is if there's no one driving who's monitoring the vehicles where is this this is our operation center for intelligent driving it looks just like an arcade but it's not it's the remote management platform for self-driving minibuses currently on the road in the economic development zone of Wuxi, one safety officer monitors several minibuses, remotely supervising and guaranteeing safety. The center is the operations hub for the self-driving minibus, but the screen also shows data for other types of automated vehicles. This is our service platform to monitor safety. Currently, the position and speed of all the intelligent vehicles connected and operating on public roads in Wuxi are transmitted here in real time. You can see many different colored markers, each representing a different type of vehicle, including autonomous minibuses, delivery vehicles, sweepers, and freight trucks, among many others. Developing self-driving cars is a global trend, but I wonder why take an autonomous vehicle over a normal one? Chen Qiu says it frees up your hands and time. The biggest difference between manned and unmanned vehicles is that we aim to free people from the act of driving, allowing them to better enjoy their time inside the vehicle. You can play games in the car, making a monotonous journey more enjoyable. By the end of 2025, Wuxi plans to achieve an 80% penetration rate for V2X users. The scale of local V2X industry is also expected to exceed 10 billion US dollars.